this is the differential equation and the functions are, we're looking for our functions of t. So we can think of this that way. This is the y-axis, this is the t-axis, and we're looking for any function, any function y of t, y of t, that is a solution to this differential equation. So this is the function g of y, g of y. And now let's find the most basic solutions to this differential equations, namely, let's find the constant solutions. In other words, find the equilibrium solutions. Y times y minus one minus y times one minus three y, and let's set this equation to zero. So let's see how many solutions do we have. It's a polynomial greedy of degree three. So we are going to have three solutions in this example. One solution is y equals zero. And consider this constant function, this is zero. So this is the constant function y of t equals zero. y of t, y of t equals zero. This constant function is a solution to this differential equation. Also, if you look at the other factor, one minus y, one minus y, and this is zero even only if one, this is equal to zero, even only if one is equal to y. So we have another solution, so this is level one, and we have another constant solution. This is the function y of t equals one. y of t equals one as the constant function. So we have one solution is the constant function zero. Another solution is the constant function one. And then well, we'll set this to zero. So one minus three y equals zero. And then when we solve this, equation for y, then we'll get another equilibrium solution. So solution of this equation will be one is equal to three y. So when we divide both sides of this equation by three, then we get that one third, one third is equal to y. And this is another solution of this differential equation. So the constant function of this is one, then one third would be about here. So this is one, over three, and that's the constant function y equals one, one over three. y of t equals one over three. Well, we exactly this is what we, what we just mentioned. To find the equilibrium solutions, what we're going to do is we're going to set the right-hand side of this differential equation to zero, and then we'll see for what values of y this equation is equal to zero. Well, obviously, when y is zero, this whole equation is zero. So we have one equilibrium solution. Let's call this the blue one. So that's a constant function, y of t equals zero. When we set the other factor to zero, we get that y is equal to one. In other words, the function, the constant function one is also another equilibrium solution to this differential equation. And when we set the last factor to zero, namely one minus three y, then we get that the other constant function one third is also a solution to this differential equation. So those are the equilibrium solutions. Equilibrium solutions, and then we'll classify them in a second. Equilibrium solutions, <clears throat> and now let's classify them. So what we are going to do is we are going to consider this function g. We are going to consider this function g. And the function g is essentially given by the right-hand side of this differential equation. However, we know that y really is a function, but for one second, let's think of this y just as, an, as the regular independent variable, like in calculus one. Then when we, when we want to sketch a graph of this function, so let's see, this is the, call this y axis, and think of y just one, like the ordinary independent variable. Just for one second, we know that those are functions, but just for one second, let's think of those y's as independent variable. And we know that this differential or this polynomial has three roots. One is at zero, and another one is, at, so that's this one. Another one is at one, 
So here's one. And another one is at one third. So one third would be just about this point. Try to sketch the graph of this function G. This is the Y axis. This is the G of the Y axis. So the function has three roots here at one third and then at one. So the function will look like this. The function will look like this. Okay, so that's the function g of y equals the right-hand side of this equation. So y times one minus y, one minus y, and times one minus three y, one minus three y. Okay, and this will tell me about stability of those three equilibrium solutions. So this point, this point zero, this point corresponds to this blue solution this blue function, this constant function is zero. This point one, or this point one, corresponds to this constant function, constant solution one, and this point one third corresponds to this constant solution one third. Okay, so now let's see. What's happening in between zero and one over three? The function between zero and one over three is positive. When the function is positive, this means when the derivative, because this is the g of y, which is the derivative of this function y. See, this is the derivative of this function y. So when the derivative is positive, then the function is increasing. So we can indicate this putting this kind of arrow. And here's exactly the opposite situation. Between one third and one, the function is negative. So the function will be, <coughs> decreasing indicate this in that way in the opposite direction so now we can say right away that the one third is going to be um the solution one third is going to be locally stable now when we look at this on this portion of this graph the graph here is positive so derivative is positive and that means that the function is increasing so we can indicate this that way and we can see right away that y is unstable. It's not stable because the solutions on both sides go away from the constant function one. And just one more thing to do, and namely this portion of this graph is negative in here. So what it means is that the function is also decreasing. So we'll indicate this that way. Yes, exactly. So the question was, what are, what are the equilibrium solutions? Essentially, the equilibrium solutions are the intersections of this function g with this y-axis. So this point, this point, and this point, those are the three equilibrium solutions to this differential equation. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly, you're, you're exactly right. So the question was, how do you find equal, well, equilibrium solutions? Those are exactly the points of intersection of this curve G and this axis Y. So this point, this one, and this one. In other words, what we do, we take the right-hand side of this equation and we set this to zero. So we say that Y times one minus Y times one minus three y equal to zero. And that will give you exactly, this is exactly the equation that will give you equilibrium solutions. And you can see, you can see right away that when y is zero, then the left-hand side of this equation is zero. And so it's equal to the right-hand side. So y equals zero, the constant function is a solution to this differential equation and is a constant function. So it's an equilibrium solution. Also, when you look at this factor one minus y, one minus y is zero if and only if one is equal to y. So we have another solution. And when you look at this factor one minus three y, this is equal to zero if and only if y equals one third. So we have the other solution. Okay, yes. 
So now let's classify very quickly those equilibrium solutions. So I just drew the same thing. We did this plot just one second ago, but I sketched this maybe a little bit better. So this, so again, this is the function g of y equals the right-hand side of this differential equation. The right-hand side of this differential equation. This is the right-hand side of this differential equation. And when, when we can see from this that when y is zero, this is one equilibrium solution and that's this point. So this, this blue point corresponds exactly to this blue function. This is the constant blue function y of t, y of t equals zero. It's a constant function. So this constant blue function, this constant equilibrium sol solution in the direction field corresponds to this point in the phase plot. You know, so here we have this constant function y, and here's we have this little point which corresponds to this equilibrium solution. Now let's take the next one, one minus y, when this is equal to zero, when y is equal to one. So one is equal to y, this is another, so that's this point, this pink point one equals one, and this point corresponds to this constant function y of t equals one. This is the, this is the constant function. And there's one more. When we look at this factor, we set this factor to zero, one minus three y, this is equal to zero, even only if one is equal to three y. And this is if and only if one third equals y. Okay, so we have the other function y equals y equals or y of t, I should say y of t equals one third. This green function is a constant function and it's a solution to this differential equation. So it's an equilibrium solution. And this green function on this level one third corresponds to this green point. This is exactly a representation, so to say, of this constant equilibrium solution one third. So how do we classify those three equilibrium solutions? They're in the following way. So we look at this function, this blue function g, and this is the derivative of this function y. Here, the derivative is positive, meaning that the function itself, derivative was positive. So the function itself will be increasing. The function itself will be increasing. So when you start with any point that's a little bit ab above zero, or, or well, above zero, but less than one third. So take any point between zero and one third, for example, this point, then the solution will be increasing. So when I start with the solution between zero and one third, then the solution will be increasing and it will be asymptotically approaching this green line. It cannot cross because it's a solution to differential equations. Solutions cannot cross. Not only that, they cannot even be tangent. They can't even touch each other. So what, that, what does this mean is if you take this function that starts at this point, the function will be <coughs> increasing but cannot pass this green point. What does this mean? That the function will be asymptotically approaching this green line. Okay, let's see what's happening between this point and one. So if I take any point in here, the derivative is negative, meaning that the function will be decreasing. So the function will be decreasing. So if you take any point between one third and one, so here is one third at one. Maybe if you take this point, so when you look at the corresponding solution, it will be decreasing. It will be asymptotically approaching this green line, but can never cross it. Not only that, can never touch it. So it will be asymptotically approaching this line. And what this tells you is that the green solution, one third, is stable, locally stable. So we can say that this green solution is stable or sometimes locally stable, same thing. But now what's happening with the, let's say, let's take, let's analyze the pink solution, the one function, what's happening in here? Well, 
the solutions will go away from the constant function one. So here's the constant function one, but if you start with a solution a little bit below one, it will go away and it will be asymptotically approaching this green function cannot cross, so it will be asymptotically approaching this function. Same thing happened when you start above this point one. For example, when you start at this point, the solution will go away from the equilibrium solution. One observation that we can make is the following one. So let's simplify this function g. Okay, so g of y, g of y is equal to plus 3y cubed. So let's compute derivative g prime of y. Let's compute the derivative of this function very quickly. So the derivative of y would be one minus the derivative of four y squared. That will give me eight y, eight y, and then plus nine, the derivative of three y cubed, that's nine y squared. Okay, and now what I want to do, it, this is the derivative of this function g. This is the blue function g. And I want to see what is the derivative of this function g equal to at this point zero, at this point zero, at this point zero. The function is equal to one. So one is something positive. And what does this mean one? What does it mean one? It means that if you look at the tangent line, to this blue function, if you look at the tangent line, this is the tangent line to this blue function g. And what does this mean? That derivative of this function g at zero is equal to one. It means that the slope of this tangent line is one. Okay, but when the tangent, when the slope of the tangent line is positive, that would mean that we'll have this situation. And that would be another condition that we could use to classify equilibrium solutions. I'll have to compute derivative of this function y. And if the derivative is positive, this is positive. So this constant function y equals zero, then the blue function, then the function y equals zero. So this blue function is unstable, is unstable. Okay, let's do the same for the two more points. So I have done this over here. We have computed g prime of y of zero. This is one. One is positive. And because this is positive, then the function y of t equals zero. So that's this function y of t equals zero, y of t equals zero is unstable. It's unstable because the derivative of this function g at this point zero is one, something positive. So we have this situation. On the other hand, when we compute the derivative of this function g at one third, so here's this point one third, when we compute the derivative, then very simple computation, but we get negative two over three. So it means that the slope of this tangent line is the tangent line to the graph of this function at this point. The slope is equal to negative two over three. And because the derivative at this point is negative, this follows that this green solution, y of t equals one third is locally stable. <laughs> is locally stable. And one more thing, the last one, compute the derivative of this function g at one, that will give you two. And two is positive, so that would mean that the constant function one, so this is the constant function y of t equals one, is unstable.